welcome back. Today I thought I would do a look that I wore yesterday when I went shopping with my mom. And it included this infallible um, eyeshadow and it's called Amber Rush. And I really, really like this. It's kind of a peach, rose gold um, color. I don't, I won't say it's coppery or anything, but it's so pretty. And I just love it. It looks so well just on its own or with a little bit of contouring and highlighting. So I'm also going to use my Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer, which I had for a little while, but I've only used it twice. And I actually really like it. I put it on yesterday and I was like, yeah, I like this. And even my mom commented that it looked really nice. My Manga, my Urban Decay Liners, and my Cosmo Lip Gloss. So hopefully I have everything. I already have my blush on and the rest of my face because I wanted to save a little bit of time. So I've got pinched blush on, of course. So let's get started. Finger ready. My finger is always ready. Um, for, I'm going to do my highlight first and I'm going to use my Naked One palette in the Virgin color. I like this for my highlight. It's really subtle and nice, but it's not flat. It's not shimmery or anything. And I already put my eyebrows on. I had so much fun yesterday with my mom. And she has really bad health problems, like stomach problems. And so every day of her life, Ever since I was born, seriously, she had me at 28, and right after I was born, she started getting ulcers, and now she has an ileostomy, and where, you know, she wears a bag on her stomach, and it's just, she's been sick to her stomach and had so many surgeries, and every day she's tired and sick, and she she's 5'2", and she weighs, well, the lowest she's been was... 76 but now she's up to maybe 95 and she's just always so sick and I feel so bad but she plugs along she never complains and she's had back surgery and so yesterday she felt really good and it was really nice to be able to go out with her and in, and she was enjoying herself and she had energy and we just had a lot of fun and I just love my mom oh my gosh I'm gonna get tearful but I'm so blessed to have her and my mom still alive, and I just love them dearly. Okay, thanks. Thanks for listening. So now I've got that on, so now I'm going to put my infallible amber rush on, and just with my finger. These are really nice to put on your with your finger. They're so soft and shimmery, and they don't have fallout, and these will last you a good long time. This is... Whoops, this is the only one I have. I thought about getting the champagne colored ones or some other colored ones, but I have so many eyeshadows that I just decided to just stick with this because it's unique and I don't have anything else like it. So, all right, so there's that. Now I'm going to do my contour with my brush here and I'm gonna go in and use Naked. So day after tomorrow we're going out of town. We're finally gonna open up our cabin that we have in Island Park, Idaho. We've had this cabin for about, I don't know, eight or nine years or something like that. Maybe maybe a year or two less. I can't even remember. But we went in on it with my parents, my mom and my stepdad, but they have since wanted out of it because they never go up anymore, but we can't afford to buy their half. So 
it's for sale and it's been for sale for three years and we haven't had any buyers or any bites on it just there are a lot of cabins up there for sale but nobody's bought them because nobody's in the market you know so we just continue to go up until we sell it so we usually go up in May and open it up it's not a winter cabin it's just a summer one so we usually go up and open it up in May but we're just late this year and I get so scared because I'm always afraid of what's gonna be dead in there one year we had a mouse die in my mom's room and we looked everywhere for it it stunk so bad but we couldn't find it we looked everywhere and so we just left it you know we just shut the door because we never could find it and then finally a year or so later my brother and his wife went up and looked in the closet and there's not even a door on the closet but they were like rummaging through my mom's clothes that was up there and there was a dead mouse stuck to one of her shirts and that was what stunk for two years it was gross so now I'm kind of I'm so scared to find out what could be lurking in there okay now I'm going to take my Urban Decay pencil in mushroom and I'm just gonna line my um, upper eyelid just along the lash line I'm starting to really dig it so I don't do a cat wing or cat wing I don't do a, a I don't know a wing I don't do any of that I'm just gonna line just as close to the lash as I can I don't know, it just gives it a little more oomph. And this is such a great color, it goes with everything and anything. And it's not a harsh black and it's not a deep dark brown, which I like brown. But it, and, it, and these pencils go on so creamy smooth. See, I didn't even tug when I was doing that. You just go along and you're done. So there's that. Sorry, I have itchy going on. Now I'm taking my underground and I sharpened it. And I'm going to go under my eyes. This goes so nicely with the infallible Amber Rush. My stomach. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I had my shake this morning. My protein shake. But now I'm starving again. Okay, there's that. So anyway, in a couple days we're going to the cabin, and it's supposed to be in the 80s, so that'll be nice, because yesterday was 102 here, and it's going to be in the hundreds, like, for a whole week. And my grass will be completely dead by the time we get back, might in the backyard, but oh well. And it takes about five, four and a half hours to get up there. It's not too bad. The worst part is when it rains like cats and dogs on the freeway and you're trying to drive in it. That scares me so bad. I drive because if I don't drive, I get car sick. And driving in the rain or sleet or snow, which I have done, it scares me so much. So I'm hoping that the weather stays good. My eye is watering in there. And I even brought my little, I have zits. Oh, I'm, I'm sick of zits. It's like they're not zits anymore, they're scabs. 
and they never go away, partly because I pick at them all day. Okay. So now I have five minutes. I gotta get going because I I'm not going through capture because I don't want I don't want you to have to suffer through the wavy background. So that's why I put most of my face on and I'm only doing my eyes and lips. So I'm gonna hurry. I need to stop chit chatting. And do you like my little kitties? My little Siamese kitties on my shirt? I do. So I think I'm going to go to Kohl's because I have my 30% off coupon and I want to use it before I go. But I'll try not to buy anything. I only buy things that I just have to have because I don't need anything and lately I haven't really been, every time I go to Kohl's, unless it's a cat t-shirt, I usually don't get anything because there's just nothing I want or need. But when there's 30% off, I always try to, I just go to the, I just go to Kohl's just in case. My husband hates when I do this. He hates me shopping around. But he's like, man, now that you are only work part time, you spend more money than you ever have in your entire life. And I told him it's because I'm bored. When I was working full time, I was in work all day. And so I didn't have the opportunity to shop during the day. So that's that. That's my reasoning behind that. I always told him, I'm never, when we get married, I'm not going to buy anything because I will save we need to save money so I'm gonna buy everything now before we get married and then I won't buy anything well then we got married and I kept buying stuff and then it was well I need to buy everything now before we have kids because when we have kids we won't be able to afford anything for ourselves so yeah but then we never had kids and then I stopped working full-time and now I just spend more than ever okay now I'm gonna do my lips now this stuff is super opaque it's very thin you kinda have to work with that but it stays on well it's kinda matte and doesn't really smell or taste like anything Ew, ah, I got it right there and then I just blot it hold on I'm going to blot, just do a little blot, just, and, but it's a little flat, you know, so, so I'm going to put a little bit of lip gloss on, but there it is. It's so nice. I want to get more colors. Okay. There's that. Okay, well, I have 30 seconds, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about my eyes, my eyebrows or anything. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I was in a rush, but you know. So thanks so much and take care, and we will see you again next time. Thumbs up. Hope you subscribe. Bye.